Alrighty, so today I've got a bit of time here and what I thought I'd do is a fun little video. Uh, I'm going to see if I can boil water with any of these torches, uh, any of these flashlights, torches, whatever. But I've got an idea of which one's going to boil uh, the water or sort of heat up this little uh, thing here that I've got. It's basically the lid of a, um, I don't know what it is, a container of some food but it uh, looks like an aluminium lid. So I'm going to put that torch, a uh, bunch of these flashlights underneath and just see if it actually heats this water up enough to boil it. Um, I don't have too much on there because I know for some of these smaller flashlights, it's probably not going to be, uh, pro yeah, probably nothing's going to happen if I put too much on there. So I was thinking just like a little bit here in the middle and um, we'll see how it, uh, how it goes on camera. So anyway, let's start off and uh, start with the smaller flashlights first. So I'm just going to go through um, the different ones that I have. So this one here is, of course, the Imolent MR90, 50,000 lumens. I think it's actually 52 or 54,000 lumens when they tested it. So uh, I'm pretty sure this one's going to do something. And uh, over here, we've got the second brightest flashlight that I have, the Imolent MS03. Uh, over here, we've got the Sofern IF25A that is uh, 3,800 lumens, but with the Samsung 40T, apparently gets to over 4,000 lumens. But of course, uh, you've got the Imolent that's 13,000. Here, we've got these three flashlights here, the Sofern SC31 Pro, SP35, and the Wuben C2, and these produce 2,000 lumens each. So let's give these a try and um, see how we go. I think aluminium is a pretty good conductor of, of heat and it's quite a thin thin piece of aluminium as well on this makeshift hot plate or whatever it is. So let's give it a go. Okay, so I've got the Wuben C2 here. I'm going to pop it onto turbo. Let's see if we get some bubbling maybe. So yeah, just to get a few little bubbles here, and I'm thinking that it's going to start ramping down, if not already. Um, so it's not enough to boil this little bit of water there, but um, just, just from my eye, I can spot a few little bubbles appearing. So let's swap that off. Okay, grab the SP35 now and blast that thing on turbo. Okay, it doesn't appear to be doing anything as well. So again, it's uh, as expected 2000 lumens. It's pretty hot under the bezel of the flashlight. I'll just switch that off. And um, also just keep in mind this Sofern also has a Samsung 40T in there. Um, Sofern SC31 Pro, I'm not expecting this also to, to do too much, um, but let's try. Not really anything. I mean, there's some tiny little bubbles at the bottom. Uh, I think this was created by the C2, the Wuben C2 uh, initially. So, yeah, I can see almost like a tiny bit of steam coming off the side um, just when you blow onto it. Um, but apart from that, pretty boring. I mean, you can probably see there's a few little bubbles at the bottom, it's difficult to see on the camera. Okay, let's take this one off and um, swap over now. Let's start pulling out some of the big torches, uh, the, well, the brighter torches anyway. So this here is the Sofern IF25A. Let's go and see if this does anything or not. Okay, don't know, turn on. Okay, there's a little bit of steam coming off the water, you can see it just um, on the sides of the, the tin. It's just very, very subtle. You might be able to see it come off 
and a few new bubbles appearing on there as well. Okay, I've got a Samsung 40T in here as well. I mean, definitely can see some bubbles appearing. This has been the most fruitful, actually, of all the flashlights. But it's not boiling. I'm getting a few bubbles here and there. This is the closest we've got. Okay. I think that's enough time. We'll take that off. I don't think it's going to go any further. The MS-03. I'm just going to unlock this. Okay. And um, I'm just going to drop this straight on turbo. And we'll see what it does. Yep. And we've got some boiling. So that's definitely confirmed. You got the MS-03. It's able to boil some water. I reckon you might even be able to cook a little bit of egg or something on here. At some point, you start to see the bubbles disappear. And that's because the light is actually ramping down. Okay. So it goes from 13,000 all the way down to about, I think, one to 2,000 lumens. So that's about it. I think I might be able to reactivate the turbo again and see what happens. So that's after a second reactivation of the turbo. You can see some of the bubbles come up again, but then it's the, the light looks like it started to ramp down. So let's swap that over. I thought that was pretty cool, though. <laughs> okay, now let's pull out the um, the big guns, the MR90, and uh, let me make sure I've got this on the right mode. I'm always a bit worried to use this, actually, because um, I've almost blinded myself a few times turning it on and not being careful. So um, the interesting thing here is uh, I've actually used this and accidentally burnt a bit of my table actually by having it too close to the table and I, and, um, I find that the section here where you've got the uh, XHP 70.2s they actually create a lot more heat than the SBT uh, 90 so what I'll do is that I'll start maybe I'll shift a bit of this water over so that it kind of overlaps with these LEDs and um, we'll see what happens there and I'll activate turbo um, and um, hopefully nothing goes terribly wrong. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Wow, that is definitely boiling. Okay. Wow, it's hot. <laughs> so for those of you who were wondering if you can boil water with a torch, it looks like you can, but you're gonna need about 13,000, maybe 10 to 13,000 lumens in order to do it. And on a very small scale like this as well. So uh, look at that, it's even, def it's even kind of deformed this lid. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.